up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Ronaldo, Jacare Souza, and Ultimate Fighter winner, Kelvin Gastelum. The winner of season 17 of The Ultimate Fighter, Kelvin Gastelum, who made Ultimate Fighter history by becoming the youngest ever fighter to earn the moniker of being the Ultimate Fighter. Kelvin Gastelum shocked the world when he was the underdog, but yet defeated the dangerous Uriah Hall to win the Ultimate Fighter in a weight class one step above his natural weight of 170 pounds. Kelvin Gastelum steps inside the octagon, and he's ready to fight. The multiple-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt World Champion, he continues to showcase his striking skills in the octagon. And he will look for more of the same as he goes to battle tonight here in the UFC. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Manolo, Jacare Souza, ready to go to battle with Kelvin Gastelum. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Gastelum is 24, Jacare is 36. He is four inches taller. The rest is virtually identical. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin. And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 23 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Ronaldo Jacare Souza! And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Eve Levine, our referee. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. Right choice for Gaston. Black choice for Susan. One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight is the takedowns of Calvin Gaston. He will often mix them in with his striking to stay unpredictable. To the oh, body. Good body shot. Could hear it at our broadcast position. Nice hook. Oh, he tagged him again, Mike. And he's down. Back up. Oh, huge kick to the midsection. That's a solid straight. Big roundhouse kick. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the bottom. There's that big jam. Up into the jungle. Susan with some inside leg kicks. The clinch. Gastelum with the nice hook to the body. Straight count. Very nice. Push kick. Joe, we're seeing some nice work. He's really staying busy. Uppercut. Under three now. That straight right just missed. Nice hook to the body by Souza. He's, he's throwing some hard shots now. Flying to the knee. He 
connected with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far here. Absolutely, Joe. The uppercut, lethal. Good kick. Souza with some big kicks. to the body by Gastelum. Look at his snap the uppercut. Now he's in full guard. And he's back up to his feet. Souza with a bunch to connect. Here's that uppercut we were calling for. Good straight punch. He's taking some shots now. Joe, his jab. Very wow! effective. KO victory. He was not intelligently defending himself, and that's a wrap. Once again, here's our fight replay. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And here we see one more time, big shots unanswered, not defending himself. The referee comes in to save him. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. We play the winner by TKO, Hanada Jacare Souza! Ronaldo Souza, winner by TKO.